I am Anil Kumar and in this video I will teach you simple techniques to prove trigonometric identities so that you are ready to take up real challenging questions in the coming videos. So we have two identities on this page. The first one is sine square x times cosecant square x plus secant square x equals to secant square x. The second one is cosecant x times secant x equals to cot x plus tan x. So let's begin from the very first one. It is sine square x times cosecant square x plus secant square x. Let's start with the left side at that, as that seems to be more complicated. So we'll write cosecant and secant in terms of sine and cosine. What do we get? We get sine square x and within brackets cosecant is 1 over sine so we can write this as 1 over sine square x and secant is 1 over cos so we can write this as 1 over cos square x bracket close now at this stage what we can do is we can take common factor and then we get left side as equal to sine square x and once we take the common denominator which is sine square x cos square x in the numerator when we cross multiply we get cos square x plus sine square x right now as you know Pythagorean identities cos square x plus sine square x is 1 so we get sine square x times 1 over sine square x plus cos square x, right? Oh, sorry, times. This is product in, in the denominator. Now, you can cancel the sine square x, correct? So, what do you get? You get 1 over cos square x, which is indeed secant square x or the right side. So, that is how you can prove the trigonometric identity, correct? Now, there is an alternate way also to do it, and that is, at this particular stage, you could actually expand and get to the right side. So, this is, this is one way of doing it. Let me use another link and uh, show you the alternate way of doing it. So, the alternate way was, you could go straight from here, open the bracket. So if you open the bracket, you get sine square x divided by sine square x, which is 1. And then when you do sine square x over cos square x, let me write first here, sine square x over cos square x. So you get 1 plus tan square x. Is that okay? Now 1 plus tan square x is secant square x. So that becomes alternate way of doing it. So that is a trigonometric Pythagorean identity 1 plus tan square x is secant square x but either way you can get your result what I would really want to emphasize here is that there is there are always more than one ways of proving trigonometric identities so so just don't stop just do either way right and uh, that is the best policy but start from left side and try to get the right side that is a common uh, principle right now in the next example let me start with the right side. So right side for us is cot x plus tan x, right? So we have, I wrote cot x plus tan x. Let me continue. So let us write them in terms of sine and cosine. So cot x can be written as cos over sine, right? So we write cos x over sine x. And tan x can be written as sine x over cos x. Now, we can take the common denominator and cross multiply. So, if we take the common denominator, what do we get? We get sine x cos x. And when we cross multiply, we get cos square x plus sine square x. Now, as you know, cos square x plus sine square x is 1, right? So, we could write this as 1 over sine x times cos x, correct? Now, it is indeed 1 over sin x times 1 over cos x, which is the left side. Cosecant x is 1 over sin s, and 1 over cos x is secant x, right? So, we get cosecant x times secant x, which is the right side, correct? So, you could prove uh, identities in this fashion, I mean, left side. 
correct so these are two very good examples to start with and they give you insight to techniques which we are going to use to prove trigonometric identities i hope that helps i'm anil kumar you can subscribe and learn a lot about trigonometry and proving identities thank you and all the best